Hello fabulous Gemini, welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2020. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month without a doubt and a part of what makes it so special is what happens right out of the gate and that is a powerful full moon. Now this full moon happens right around the third of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. But I actually think that this is energy we are gonna be feeling as we are entering the month. That is because this full moon is setting up what astrologers call a T-square. And that T-square is with Uranus. So this is an energy of surprise, even shock, of development seeming to come out of nowhere. Now the thing to remember here is with Uranus, it is honest. Very often it can be personal, but it can also represent external events right now, taking you by surprise. A full moon brings things to illumination, to culmination, to fruition. And so it can be at this time that very quickly it feels as if new information comes to light, new understanding that ultimately allows a conclusion. And so this is a part of the sky that can speak to long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, philosophical matters as well. And what I would say is if it is that you are involved in any of these areas in some way, so whether it is that you're hoping to travel or you're involved in an immigration or citizenship development, that development could come very quickly right about now. It may also be the case that if it is that you are thinking about, we're hoping to return to school uh, or to pursue or continue to pursue higher education, that environment might be one that is filled with surprise at this time for you also. Now, it might also be the case at this time that very quickly you're able to bring a legal matter to a conclusion and it may find a conclusion in a way that does surprise you. If it is that you are engaged in politics, even if you're just sharing your opinion online, be mindful because this energy says buttons being pushed, very strong reactions being possible there. In some rare cases, this energy can represent a whole new paradigm, a whole new understanding, whether that is uh, philosophically or in terms of your spiritual values. It can feel as if you are seeing more clearly the things that you have believed and perhaps even seeing things so differently that you realize you believe something very differently than you did before. Now, regardless, the fact that this full moon is taking place in fellow air sign Aquarius, while well, that does suggest right on the surface that you're able to use this energy in some way to your advantage, but the energy of surprise is high. Uranus is in the sign just before yours. And that does mean that the surprise very likely is gonna feel like it comes out of nowhere. The development feels like it comes out of nowhere. And yet you're able to find a way to integrate whatever happens in a way that is to your advantage. Now, as we navigate later in the month, it will be right around the 19th that we are going to have this month's new moon. Talk about a big change of energy. And this is nothing like the full moon earlier in the month. This new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Mars and happening hand in hand in the sky with Mercury. Mercury, of course, being your ruling planet. This energy is enlivening. And for you, especially on a level of mind, this part of the sky has a natural uh, correspondence to your sign. And this is you feeling especially bright, your mind especially aware. Perhaps there are new things that you want to learn, want to understand, and it feels as if you're able to understand that much more quickly as well. Where it is that you are hoping for synchronicity to make itself known, to feel as if you are becoming aware of how it is that life is working in your favor, perhaps finding yourself at the right place, at the right time, meeting the right person, and it makes all the difference. Well, this energy can help you to do just that. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I love that Venus, as we start this month, is no longer in shadow. You have had an unusually long time of Venus in your sign. That was because of the retrograde season that took place 
throughout the spring and into the summer. Well, as you begin this month, Venus is free and clear, and it will be until August 8th that you will have a strong Venus forward moving, fresh energy Venus in your sign. And what that suggests is love is going to feel that much easier for you. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, the beginning of the month holds wonderful potential for you to just be a magnet. With Venus in your sign, there's not a whole lot you need to do to attract love towards you. Just you being yourself and where possible engaging others is more than enough to feel as if there are options available to you in the context of love. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, the first eight days have this beautiful energy where it feels as if you're able to enjoy yourself that much easier, connect that much easier with this person as well. It is going to be once we navigate mid-month, of course, and that new moon takes place, that where it is that you're truly wanting a depth of understanding about this person, it is going to happen through mind and conversation, and you'll be able to see whether or not there's genuine companionship here. And for those of you who are in an established bond, the first eight days of the month are beautiful, that blessing of Venus in your sign, and you'll be able to enjoy that to feel more connected to your partner. It is going to be once we navigate beyond that, and especially at that new moon, well, that energy I just love for you in a partnership because it does suggest that you're able to talk about just about anything and feel a sense of connection and even passion. What I love about this month for you, well, there's a lot here, but I am going to say that new moon uh, happening right around the 19th is a very lovely energy. If you have any kind of contracts or negotiations, key conversations, uh, communications to exchange, all of that can go very well at this time. And it may also be the case that if you are doing something where you are hoping to gain some media attention, that could surprise you. And if you are on a learning journey, you may find that especially rewarding in the days around the new moon. But that new moon is going to move even beyond that. It is going to speak to you much more personally, allowing you to feel more spontaneous and more open to life and engaging in new ideas. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.